Amanda Marvel. Uh, Amanda Marvel uh, is, a, is an artist from Columbus, Ohio, the United States. Um, I came across a very sensitive piece, a very delicate piece, I would say, filled with details, uh, filled with um, profoundness, but also filled with, uh, with a, a, a wide gamma of, uh, of emotions, you know, starting from melancholia, romanticism, uh, a little bit of fear, and uh, a little bit of um, intrigue, I would say, but not in the, not in the sense of, uh, of a fierce intrigue, but something, something ongoing, something a bit undiscovered. And uh, I, I fell in love with the fact that you, man, that you uh, chose the flowers to convey this, this kind of feeling through. Um, I, I love the horizon that you've created. It's, it's, like a, it's like a world of souls. You know, sometimes it feels like you would look at it from above, but not from too high, because it, it feels that you can really get corporeal with all the elements that you have in here. There's something about it. There's something that makes you want to feel that it, you have touched these elements before, or you have interacted with them before, uh, be that from a verbal point of view or from a smile or something is, is really reaching out to one's soul from the canvas to one's heart. And uh, I feel very personalized with them. Uh, the work has a beautiful poetic title called The Night Opens the Flowers in Secret. Um, in addition to what I said, I don't want uh, to uh, skip uh, really expressing how nocturnal this work is. It's, uh, it, it feels as if it is from, from a very beautiful place that only a few people know uh, where it is. And uh, that's what kind of gives it that feel of exquisite uh, mystic mysticism that really keeps it very rare and, and very untouched. Um, a few words from Mandis. Um, this piece says, Mandis, like most of my works, reflects the contrast of life, the light and the dark. Something beautiful responding to something dark and how one cannot exist without the other. Uh, as I said before, the, the nocturnal idea could not get away from me. Uh, so I, I decided to do a, a little nocturne, a uh, nocturnieto, if I can put it this way in, in Italian terms, uh, for the fact that after playing the music, you want to enjoy this piece by just looking at it.
this is one of my most complex pieces so far, I would say, and I'm um, really being honest about it for the fact that, you know, I, uh, I was puzzled between two pieces, uh, the Nocturnito that I said, and uh, also a little sweet. But the nature of your piece, it's, it's, it's a synthesis, which uh, is full of contrast, but yet very, in a very cohesive way. So I decided to leave the format as I was thinking, inspired by the entire contour that your work descends from in, in like a little arch. And um, that really dictated the flow of the musical structure of my work. But being that it's so rich in colors and nuances that I cannot even name, and I'm, I'm not even going to attempt to, I decided to, to really portray this through throwing in some very untraditional and very unusual harmonies. Uh, but I want you to listen to the, the piece a few times and perhaps uh, by considering what I said about many different harmonies, I want you to uh, make the matching yourself uh, as to when you hear those very unusual changes and my words hopefully will come to your mind and then you will connect everything the way I, uh, I meant to. So thank you so much. It's, it's absolutely a profound work. Thank you.